It's alive. Scientists announced breakthrough in cloning mammoths. This is one of the extinct animals that uh, they're trying to bring back to life. We remember that back in uh, a couple of years ago, 2014, a study showed that flowers powered the woolly mammoth, according to phys.org. During the Ice Age, the home of the woolly mammoth, uh, the, uh, it was carpeted with a sea of flowers. The area was carpeted with a sea of flowers that nourished this mega beast of tens of thousands of years ago, according to the University of Alberta. And um, the University of uh, Copenhagen studied both ancient plant DNA trapped in permafrost and the stomach contents of frozen, mummified mammoth carcasses, looking at vegetation changes back at 50,000 years ago. And they found that Forbes dominated plant fauna until around 10,000 years ago, the time at which many megafauna became extinct before giving way to woody plants in the Arctic. Now, what happened with this thing? It became extinct, and uh, researchers are trying to bring it back to life. Russia and Japanese researchers, working for more than 20 years before what they describe as a major development, when cells that had been extracted from a woolly mammoth discovered in Siberia's permafrost were transplanted into a mouse embryo, which then showed biological activity. The Japanese-Russian team of scientists revealed significant progress in their work to bring the woolly mammoth, which became extinct about 10,000 years ago, back to life. And according to the German outlet Deutsche Welle, Several samples extracted from the leg of the juvenile mammoth they named Yuka, which was recovered in Siberia eight years ago, showed biological reactions necessary before cell division. The cell nuclei were recovered from approximately an approximately 28,000-year-old creature, and they were implanted in the mouse cells. One member of the international team at Kindai University Professor Kei Miyamoto of Japan confirmed in an interview with the outlet that the cells were able to react and they showed biological activity despite having been frozen for thousands of years in the permafrost. But he also indicated that despite the highly promising development, none of the cells divided, which is of course essential for bringing back the extinct creatures and cautioning against imagining that the fantastic plot is coming true he said, we're still many steps away from the Jurassic Park. The technology to resurrect an extinct creature does not yet exist, although I will not deny that it probably will exist in the future. We just have to continue the research, he said. Now, according to him, the scientist's next goal is cell division. So they're studying the carcass of the mammoth in search for less damaged cells that can help the team to move to the next stage. The experts are looking for relatives, quote-unquote, of yucca that might be preserved as well, well enough to become material for future cloning. Now, while it remains unclear whether the mission will be successful, the professor revealed he aspires to prevent endangered animals from dying out as he's studying the factors that influence how they disappear. Okay, the thing is, okay, you bring it back to life, but its um, food is the little flowers of the Arctic, and they're, long, they're no longer there, so what, what are they going to feed him with? Anyway, this is on Sputnik News. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.